in the car so that is probably the best way because you can go to remote places where you'll feel a little bit more not so self-conscious right and uh, it's easier to paint outside so um, one of the paintings you're going to see now or the painting you're going to see now is of a shrine and uh, it's um, at the top of a hill and you can just see the gate before the trees so it's beautiful and this was right next to a road and um, I found this place just by chance I was just driving past on the way to another place and um, I've seen this scene many many times and every time I thought mm, that would be good to paint that would be good to paint and uh, maybe once or twice definitely I took a photo and then I don't know when it was but at some point in the studio I saw the photo and did a quick painting and that's what you're going to see now so it's not it's not perfect that painting it's more a sketch but I still like it and uh, I have to develop that at some point in the future so it's really good to when you're driving to be looking out for these nice scenes and take a photo and then at home at some point do a painting so the next thing is when you go traveling you can just go traveling and anywhere just just go just travel off into the blue yonder that can be fine and I've done that and uh, just keep your eyes open so one time I saw this sign for a waterfall and I just decided to investigate and uh, it was unbelievable it was a very small sign and um, the actual area was cordoned off uh, but I had come all that way so I just decided to have a look and it was amazing this was the first time I'd seen stones carved into like the living rock you know J.R.R. Tolkien who talked about steps carved into living rock I'd never really seen that I think before but this time I saw it and uh, it took a long time to get to the waterfall but the place was amazing but uh, part of the rock had fallen down onto the path and that's why it had been cordoned off but uh, it was an amazing place and uh, I'm showing you a painting but it's a terrible painting I really have to try and do another one of that place it, it it's a, an amazing place I wanted to actually get light and shadow in that area but I think it's so narrow the Sun never enters because I went another time and I I waited a long time for the sunlight to enter to give me these beautiful light and shadow effect but uh, it, it it stayed in the shade all day so I was very disappointed about that but it it's still a beautiful place and then finally uh, finally where am I sorry about this this is done very very live okay so maybe I will stop there